Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to American Coffee. If it's your first time, just go below and subscribe to my channel. I'm over here, just arrived in Tasmania and I'm renting my car. I'm gonna head on nine days road trip solo, so just me sleeping in the car and camping around Tasmania. So please follow me up. The trip has been started from Melbourne Airport. I do actually live in Melbourne and my destination was Lanchester, north of Tasmania. That was the best deal uh, for me. I pay round trip for $124 with Virgin Australia with 23 kilo luggage and 7 kilo suitcase. So I could bring with me everything I needed for the trip. So majority of the people, they do try to fly on to Horbat and it does not make any sense, okay? Pick the cheapest airport and the cheapest flight. And the two cities are only two hours distance, okay? So if you're renting a car, you can easily drive, okay, from north to south. This trip, it's right before the pandemic, guys. Uh, after I was in, in Tasmania, a week after Tasmania has uh, shut down all the borders and I left Tasmania the last day possible and the day after uh, we were completely on lockdown here in Australia. So I got extremely lucky, especially because nothing was refundable of my trip. So I was so lucky and so happy. <laughs> And here we go guys, that's my third stop, the most important one of the entire trip. I'm gonna try to cook in the car or in the barbecue places where I'm gonna find along the street, except one day where I'm gonna get fast food when I'm gonna be close by to Horba, but for the rest of the trip it's gonna be low cost, so as much as I can, um, I'm trying to get low cost stuff, so that's the first place I found when I rent a car and choose the airport. There's things I did, it was checking where the mall was and see how far it was to get all my groceries done uh, before leaving. And here I am. Let's go to Back into the car with my apple juice. I'm very happy about it. So I totally spent about around $40, $45 on goods and different stuff. Uh, the food I bought, it's most likely too much for myself. Let's see what is gonna happen at the end of the trip. But now we are going to go in a, in an area called Mall Creek to see some caves. Let's go, it's gonna be one hour drive. And here we are in the parking lot of Mall Creek. And so there's actually two caves, guys, over here. And I decide to visit only one today. And there's a tours, guided tours, but it's the only way you can go in. And they are from 10 to 4 p.m. during ice season. And it's $19 the entrance. So Mall Creek is part of a national park, Tasmania National Park. So I have one hour to go to my tour. So what I want to do since I'm in the parking lot over here, I'm trying to set up the car uh, for the night. So I came with a big suitcase over there. It was not that heavy. It's only 15 kilos because on the bottom there's a huge like there's a huge blanket. Uh, oh, the wind is very cold right now. So hand warmers. I have pots. I have everything I needed. A pillow and in, in here I have extra blanket. Are these giant ferns? It's like it feels like to Jurassic Park. It seems like to stay in Jurassic Park with this giant ferns everywhere. Look, ah, oh, so cool. 
the, the good part when I sign up for the 4 uh, p.m. tour is the last one. I was the only one. So let's see what is going to happen if there's going to be someone else when I'm going to arrive there. So let's go. So this track, it's, uh, it's going to take about 10 minutes to reach the caves. So I park down uh, to the tourist information center and it's just 10 minutes walk. Very easy. to come here because in this cave there's glow worms so it's actually very common in Mole Creek area there's a, a lot of caves here around and the, the glow worms are just in the east of Australia and New Zealand so it's something highly uh, recommended to see since you're coming here in Tasmania and I really enjoy it, it was really amazing other than that I saw some cave crickets that's actually an ovipositor so that's used to lay eggs in the clay see it's got really long legs at the bottom but then there's a spike in the middle and then the one on the right's a male I reckon for sure let me show you this look how amazing it is it's very beautiful and it's so quiet, it's kind of scaring, there is no noises at all. Look here in the street, oh, it's so gorgeous. So I just stop over here to show you that. There's cows everywhere and that's my little car. So let's go back now. It's still kind of very surreal that I'm in Tasmania and I'm here driving alone and doing my stuff and the weather I got so lucky. spend the night today look how beautiful it is hey guys i'm trying this uh this little thing i bought online to boil the water so i want to make a soup tonight so let's see how it's gonna come out in just in one second i turn on the battery and it's pretty hot so i don't think it's gonna take so long but i wanna show you where i am so i wanna make a pumpkin soup i brought a lot of those uh, two packages for 80 cent 90 cent hey guys inside the car my dinner for tonight is gonna be peanut butter a sandwich and a pumpkin soup so i bought something very unique you can use inside the car sorry i'll show you i meant to show you guys but i put it away so this one uh it's electric car boiler you can just turn on the battery and it's like three four minutes you have a boiling water so you can do instant soup like i do i'll show you guys how it looks like my dinner tonight i'm so happy See, that's our my stuff i brought a cloth with me that's my soup it's already ready that is gonna be my view then then i'm gonna put down over there my netflix and that's gonna be my netflix and chill for tonight look so while i spread my peanut butter you are thinking why am i sleeping in the car so that was the easiest and cheapest way for me to go around in Tasmania. I really wanted to do it, but didn't have any travel body. And renting a van, it's cost me, it, could, it would have cost me around 90 a night. And a car, it cost me 29 a night. 
so that's the reason why I'm doing everything in the car I couldn't rent a van by myself renting a van by yourself it's impossible so too expensive accommodations are crazy guys okay there is nothing for less than $50 a night in Tasmania unfortunately sleeping here it's crazy and yeah so here I am sleeping in a meadow in Tasmania in a small town everything's set up my Netflix is ready over there let's watch love is blind hey guys we are in the back it's 8 30 p.m. and I have my setup with my queen size blanket folded in double I have my sleeping bag oh can you see how bright it is it's that light it's amazing $16 at big double it's like incredible plus it's a power banks too so you can charge your phone uh, I tried at home and I left it on high for a couple of hours and was still working so that's amazing and I can charge it just USB when I go oh I'm very happy about this so it's that is gonna be the way I'm gonna save money and travel to Tasmania. meet up tomorrow morning guys good night